Hi Leo, welcome to Germany Tarot. If you notice, there's only one germ um, and that's because other germ is doing some awesome stuff with her home and her job and all that jazz. So she needs to do her for a little bit and she'll be back mid-April. So hopefully um, <laughs> you still want to see me up here. Um, we are going to do March 24th through the 31st. Um, do a general read get the vibes and I'm still going to do the same reading with the tarot and Lenormand it's just going to be me doing it solo we're using the sacred rose tarot which was formerly Jeremy's um, we traded decks because the Aquarian would not talk to me and she gave me sacred rose so we've got a past Ooh, okay present two came out take it three came out take it um, and then we're, what we're thinking about what we should be thinking about okay Queen of Pentacles all right good to see I see you there bottom of the deck four of wands so that's uh that's good all right now we're coming on to Lenormand can I get a Lenormand for the past please this is the Art Nouveau Lenormand. It's a new deck. It's rather large, but they're very pretty. Let's get a present for Leo, please. Two are going to have to come out, so we're going with it. And we've got the future. Yeah, these wanted to come out, so we're going to do it. All right, what should... Or what is Leo thinking of right now? What should they be thinking about? That's three, but it's like too many. I got the vibe. So we're going to go... Ooh. More than almost. <laughs> All right. I have to take them because it's literally the same three that came out before. All right. All right, I, I know where to take my hints. Here we go. So, doing put the action here. All right, so we have. I do. I want it. I can't. I can't just let this sit there. All right, here we go. In the past, we have the anchor with the two of cups, and the anchor is, you know, grounded. It's stable. It's nice. Um, with the two of cups, that's, you know, a good union. People say it's the soulmate thing, um, but there was definitely you know, synergy in a relationship that, that was good. You know, I mean, it felt good. You, know, you were grounded. Moving into more of this, like, stable niceness, um, you have the dog, which is loyalty, friendship, that kind of stuff. Um, you know, commitment, fidelity, all that, that nice, nice feeling warm cozies. Because you have the page of pentacles, and that is you know, moving forward, stable. It's the beginning of it, but, you know, it is, you know, it goes back to the anchor. It's very grounded. Then with the Hierophant on top of it, that is basically a marriage card. It's, you know, doing things by the book. It's being, you know, traditional. <clears throat> so maybe you did get married or something like that, um, or, it doesn't have to be an official marriage, even though it's traditional, but I mean, you said like, I'm going to be with this person. We are not going to be with anyone else. Fidelity, etc. The only thing that's not making me feel good is the birds card because the birds can be gossip. It's also internet and communication, but it's not firm communication. It's kind of like in, out, in, out. Um, but the gossip streak kind of concerns me a little bit. 
Um, it's not bad, but I think it may taint your opinion of this good thing that's going on. Because down here in the future, there's three of swords. So, you know, it can mean third party, but it could, it just means heartache. You know, why is there heartache? Well, you know, maybe there was something going on because there's the bouquet, which is a positive card. It's about visiting and gifts and things like that. And, and it does physically mean like going to see somebody because what do you do when you see somebody, you give them flowers. Um, but th with the fox over top of it, and they wanted to come out together, that the fox, is, there's a slyness to it, which I think maybe the Three of Swords comes from. So I don't think this is a gargantuan fallout by any means, but I think this is someone, someone to get their feelings hurt, and they want to know why, because they have the Ace of Wands with the Hanged Man. So you're thinking about what to do next, and... You know, you're not playing. This is not happy, happy, fun time. This is, you hurt my feelings. I'm going to go inside here. Because what you're thinking about, King of Swords, that is a cutting energy. That is a, yeah, um, you hurt me. I'm going to be cold. I'm icing you out. Because then over here you have the whip which is an aggressive card. It's also the sexy card, but in this case, with the King of Swords, I'm taking that as, you know, you've got your back up. And you're not pleased with the current situation, but what you should be thinking about is this Queen of Pentacles, which is a stable, nice, grounded energy that, you know, you can get back to. I mean, you don't have to stay up here in this, like, err phase, you know? Because you have the clover, the, the tree, and the stork. Which means, you know, there is luck and some kind of contentment coming. And there's going to be a change. The stork is a change. It's a migration. It's a moving on, um, you know, after this this change happens with the grounding and everything. Um, and the four of wands underneath is the, the bottom energy of the, the deck is, you know, it's stable. You're building a foundation. I mean, it ain't bad. So let's find out what this Two of Cups business was in the past. Two of Wands. <laughs> Three of Wands. Okay. So, um, yeah, there was, there was some kind of decision to be made. You know, the Three of Wands is staying fast. They're waiting. So maybe there was some kind of weight involved with this because... They see Three of Wands is waiting for the ships to come in. Well, what's over here? An anchor. Now, let's find out what this anchor's about then. So maybe, you know, there was a good connection, or is a good connection. You just need to kind of wait them out, feel them out, figure out what to do next. Or you were figuring out what to do next. I want to know what's going on with this anchor. Well, it's the lilies. It's another waiting card. Yeah, so you were waiting it out. You were waiting it out because you, you wanted to get your hopes. You, you knew this could be good if you could just just sit tight and just let it play out. Which is what happened. So I want to go on to this Page of Pentacles and Hierophant business. Ooh, Ten of Swords. Yeah, that that I think that's the tipping point. Death and Hermit. There was something that made you... Just say, I need a second, which I think is where this hangman is coming into the future because, I mean, you went hermit pretty deep. You were, you know, that's, that's a total, like, you know, like when a little snail like sucks inside its shell and it's like, nope, that's, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting here. Cause I guess this, that gossipy feeling, it's not a good one. So it's the letter. It's more communication. I think maybe it was something that was seen. And I get the feeling it was written between the birds and the, and the letter. I think maybe texts or something or emails. Just not, not what you were expecting. Or maybe you got something from someone that was telling you news that you were like, excuse me, and you are with the snake. 
yeah, I think maybe somebody else was sending you this stuff. Like, hmm, jigs up, look at you. And uh, they were being, being a snake. You know, but I say a snake because I don't think their intentions were 100% if they were sending you this stuff. It's just the feeling I get. Like, they wanted to, to monkey wrench things. They, it's not a good vibe. So, you know what, I'm going to ask right now what the fox is about. The bear. So someone's still in protection mode. Someone's still in the, you know, out of my face mode. But I want to know what happens, you know, with all this protection and stuff. Are you even going to tell me? Are you going to tell me? Am I going to have to pull a card on you? Am I going to have to pull a card on you? Well, it's three, but I'll take it. So you have the rider, the child, and the ship. You want some kind of new beginning. You want to move ahead. You want to have this positiveness. And, uh, you know, but you got to get over. Get over that hump. That, like, who do you think you are hump? Which is never fun. You know, while we're here, I'm going to just do the, uh, the whip real quick. Get that baby dealt with. Talk to me about the whip, please. Who is whipping and nae, nae See, the moon. They're, that's the intuition. That's the knowing. But also, it's how you perceive people. It's how you, you know, it's reputation. But it's the perception that creates the reputation. And if that got dinged, you know, they're, you know, is there coming back from it? Down here says yes. But there needs to be a conscious change into action. I want to clarify these real quick down here, the hanged man. And then we're going to move into the what you're thinking, what you should be thinking arena. So two came out on that. Five of Swords, Three of Cups. This is coming out a lot. I think, you know, people just need to... There's the Five of Swords, Three of Cups. That's a lot of ego. It's a lot of... Uh, I almost feel like whoever's dealing with this is like, hmm, like, yeah, I'm kind of happy this is happening. Because it, it's, it's like you're feeding my ego. You're feeding my, my need to... You know, shake the monkey tree. Here we go. I, I want one more. Uh, well, two more on that. But, ooh, okay. Ten of cups, ten of pentacles. Together. End of a cycle. It's, it's the turnover. And it's, you know, your family, your career, your friendships, your home. It, this is like stability times two. Because, I mean, two tens coming out together at the same time. You're... You're ending the cycle. You're ending this, you know, spinning of, you know, thinking with the hanged man and, and this hurt feeling scenario. So I want to know about this King of Swords. You know, it could be an air sign as well, but I, I get more of a, this is Leo being on their mind. They're taking on the qualities of the King of Swords. Strength. So you're being strong because that's you. That's you, Leo. Remember how I just said, I'm like, I think this is Leo. No, it's saying, yeah, this is you. You're, you're icing someone out. You know, which is almost sometimes crueler than actually saying what you think. Because then they just, just let them wonder, to be honest. Just let them think it through themselves. Then you wind up with the Knight of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. So someone's regretting regretting doing it and the knight of swords is someone you know who's who's coming at you and they come in quick and they leave quick and you're like what was that um queen of pentacles i want to find out about this good nice energy that you're moving into nine of wands you're standing your ground you're not letting anyone mess with you which is great you know you're going to stay in that. You're going to feel it. Seven of Cups. There's still some kind of disillusionment going on. Some kind of like, you got to let someone drop drop the mask. 
pick a cup, pick the right one. Because you have the Queen of Wands and the King of Cups. That's an awesome combo. Queen of Wands, you know, that's fire. That's, you know, a Leo energy. She means business. And she's a lady of action. She's, you know, she's sexy, sexy. And she knows it. And then you have the King of Cups, which is a great emotional energy. It's very stable, but it's a very aware. It's not, um, you know, not a pushover, though. You know, they know what's up. I'm going to use... Some Dorian Virtue Angel, or no, I'm sorry, not Angel, <laughs> Romance cards. Um, you know, not, not in rotation as much in these parts, but they were calling to me. So I'm going to pull what decides they want to come out. It's been two all night, so I'm, I'm going to, if it's two, I'll take two. Playfulness and Reconciliation. Okay. So... With all this hullabaloo and this hurt feelings and this hermit thing, um, you know, maybe you do need to, I don't want to say lighten up because I think you, you know, whatever happened to make you be this way, because Leo is usually a pretty playful sign to begin with. If someone can make a Leo feel bad, that's, you know, that's saying something. But playfulness and reconciliation. Um, it says to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to, of fun to shine. Well, I mean, that's that's already Leo. So just be yourself. Knocking the lamp around here. Do I have enough selenite? I don't think there's never enough selenite. Um, so reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Hmm. Who that? I don't know. Hopefully whoever it is has gotten their act together before you let them in. So here we go with the Cosmic Pep Talk with the Vintage Wisdom Oracle. Let's see what we got to say here. I would like three cards for Leo. Alright, we're four. Wow, okay. Ooh. Toosie came out. They were sneaky. They're sneaky little oracle cards. We have truth, followed by beauty and enchantment, and freedom and protection. I think, you know, you know the truth, and that's good. But, you know, there's beauty and kind of just a whimsicalness of just... Like I said before, lightening up a little bit. Um, lightening up's not a bad thing, but in the light of what I think may have happened, don't blame you, but maybe it's time to move out of that because you have freedom and protection. And, you know, you, you have the ability to protect yourself. Leos are strong. I mean, their card is strength, the lion, etc., you're able to do that, but you have the freedom. You're freeing yourself from this shenanigans, but you're still protected. Okay, Leo. Like I said, you're stuck with me until mid-April till Jeremy gets back. So I hope that does it for you. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, etc. But Leo, be well. We'll talk to you later.